So when Destiny came out, I was actually a really big fan of it. I liked it a lot. I loved the way it looked. I loved that it had guns and loot and had all these RPG things going on. And I got to hang out with my friends and fly our spaceships and just do all kinds of awesome, cool things. But then about a month or two later, it just kind of got too grindy and boring. And I was like, I could just be playing WoW. I could just be playing Diablo. And I stopped playing. But now... It's seven months later, and I've kind of felt myself getting that itch a little bit, you know? I don't know why I made a scratching motion, but I've been, <laughs> but I've been getting that itch to come back. Um, so I decided that I would come back and play for about a week and see how it feels, and see if the game has actually gotten any better since it launched. And I actually think it has. So the first change I noticed when coming back a few months later to Destiny is now you can queue for some of the things you used to not be able to queue for. So your weekly nightfalls you can queue for and get some really good gear and upgrades and stuff. And actually the first day I came back, I got a new piece of gear and three upgrades. And I immediately thought, wow, I'm actually getting things. I feel like I'm being rewarded for my time again. But then as I played on through the week, I realized, oh, now I'm playing for two hours. I'm only getting one upgrade now. Or something, you know, along those lines. Um, but I have realized that upgrades aren't as hard to get now. So you do kind of feel like when you get an upgrade, you're like, yes. it's You get that kind of, that a little bit of that rush. Because I actually didn't realize this, but it's at least on your armor, when you upgrade it, uh, it upgrades your light level and things along the, and, and stuff like that. So... Now I actually care more about the upgrades when I'm doing my dailies and stuff. And I get an upgrade on my piece of armor. I'm like, oh yes, now I, I just have to go get these things. Another thing I noticed is that Bungie like severely reduced the amount of crafting materials you need to upgrade things. It used to be ridiculous. Like, I'm pretty sure it was at least... I, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. But I remember it being like 50 like spirit bloom or whatever to get your next armor upgrade which is just bonkers that's ridiculous especially since you could only get spirit bloom and stuff from just walking around venus or earth and just picking them up it was it was it was ridiculous but now it's they've reduced the amounts and now you can actually go to pvp and some of like i think one of the pve vendors and they'll actually give you 20 like spirit bloom or uh, helium fragments or whatever you're trying to get for uh, 10 marks. So if you play about three or four multiplayer matches or you do um, like one or two uh, PVE instances, you'll actually get enough to get enough for an upgrade, um, which I like because then I feel like, okay, I put about 30 minutes doing three or four PVP matches in and I got an upgrade, and now I can actually afford the upgrade, and now, you know, my light level's gone up a little bit, or, you know, my defense went up or something. You fe I feel like I've made a little bit of progress, and I like that a lot. I like the way it feels. It feels a lot, a lot better, and I think that's probably the major thing that's happened in the game in the last few months. Just the getting your upgrades faster feels, feels way better. Um, the other thing that I will say is that I still feel like the loot system is just not great. Um, I understand that they want you to work really hard to get these specific items and things, but I, I don't know. When I play a game like Diablo 3 or something, and I'm, I'm not so much getting really awesome pieces of gear, you know, quite often, right? You might play for an hour or two hours, and then you'll get you know, some kind of legendary, where you're like, oh, this is awesome, I got this cool new axe, and it's, it's got ice powers or, or something, but when I play uh, Destiny, it's like, I've, I put in 10 hours, and now I've got this, you know, I might have been upgrading my gear, so, like, you know, through the upgrade system, but I'm not actually getting anything new. I have the same blue auto rifle that I've been staring at since I was, like, level 16, and I'm level 28 now. I have the same gun, and it's, it just gets kind of, it gets kind of ridiculous. It's like, okay, I kind of want a new, you know, a new gun. I want something cool, because everybody in PvP's got these crazy looking guns, and I don't. I, I mean, I have like an exotic cloak now, which is the first exotic I've ever got, ever. 
and I don't know, man. It just it it I don't feel like it's enough. I mean, in a game like Diablo or WoW, sure you get new gear and it's incremental, sort of. You know, every time you get a new piece, it's like oh, just a little bit. But you're getting a new piece thing maybe every ten to twenty minutes. So even if you log in and you only play for ten or twenty minutes, like I'm gonna go do a quest in adventure mode in Diablo or. I'm just going to manage my garrison or something and wow, or, or go do this one little like fetch quest or something. And then you get a reward for that. You know, you, you feel better because you're like, okay, I got rewarded for my time, even though I didn't spend that much time. But there were two or three days this week where I was playing Destiny where I didn't really get anything for my time. I played for a good two or three hours. And I mean, I kind of had, I had fun. Uh, in a in a sense, you know, I didn't have an incredible amount of fun, but I had I had fun playing for the two or three hours that I would sit there, but I still didn't feel like I was getting enough for my time, you know, if that makes any sense, because it it just seems like there's so many barriers to getting, like for instance, my, the gun I I want, I just want a new gun, right? But to get a new gun, I have to get, you know, 150 of these of these marks, these PvP or PvE marks, and then I have to not spend them on helium fragments or things if I want to get my armor upgrades. And then on top of that, I have to actually level up my reputation, you know, to get a commendation for it. And and then if I don't get a commendation, like what am I, you know, what am I supposed to do? I'm just supposed to keep rep grinding until I can get the new gun. And the new gun never drops. You know what I mean? Um, that's that's my biggest that's my biggest problem is is I just don't feel like I don't I still don't feel about 7 or 8 months later that I'm truly being re like rewarded for my time. Now, has it gotten better? Absolutely. It's gotten so much better. Um, but I I I still don't feel you know, like it's like the game is at a place that I would like it to be. Um, to be fair, the game hasn't even been out a year yet, so it it still has a lot of time to grow. And there's new expansions coming out, like they just announced the House of Wolves expansion, which I'm kind of excited about. Especially, I know a lot of people are mad that there's no raid, but to be honest, I'm not someone who is even gonna be able to do the raids because I have to, you know. You have to get people together at a specific time, at a specific place, and then you all have to be ready, and then you all have to actually be good enough to get through it. Whereas when I play something like WoW, uh, I'm not someone who wants to get with my guild Friday night at 6pm and be like, okay everybody, we're going to raid and we're going to be on this Ventrilo server. When I play WoW raids, I always just do the LFR, which is where you just queue in and it's a little bit easier, because to me... The raid itself isn't what I want. I want to hear the st I want to hear the story. I want to, obviously I want to get new gear and stuff, but to me the gear is just sort of a means to an end. It's not the end for me itself. I the gear is almost like the key to the door, you know? Like the the next piece of content. I want to get to the next piece of content. Therefore I need this gear and then I can go there. Whereas in Destiny it's like, oh, you'll never even really get to do the raid because you're not you're not going to commit to it. Whereas, I don't know. I just wish that I could queue for the raids. If I could queue for the raids immediately, I would be all over it. I'd be I'd be there. But I can't because they want you to go to, you know, bungie.net and they want you to do all these things and and uh, and communicate with people. And I mean, I can respect that, but I that means I'll never play it. Like, I just can't, I don't have the time between, you know, a, a job and between school and between running two YouTube channels and between, you know, just a million other things. I can't do it, you know. So, D Bungie, please, let us, let us queue for raids. Even if the gear isn't as good, I would totally be okay with that. The way WoW does it is that the the LFR, which is looking for raid, if nobody here is listening to me has ever played WoW, the looking for raid gear is not as good as the gear you'll get if you actually do go in with a guild or like with a with a party into the actual raid. It's a, and it's even a different difficulty. I would not mind at all if you made a harder like a level thirty two version of Vault of Glass that you can't queue for and you can only get in there and you'll get some amazing gear. I don't, I mean, I'll never do it, but I'm sure the hardcore people will do it. 
But for all of casual people that would love to do the raid content, but just can't get around to, oh, I gotta grind out all this gear, and then I gotta be, you know, the best that ever was, then I have to get all these people together who are also the best who ever was to go do it. You know, I don't care if you're giving me gear that's not as good. I just want to experience that, you know? I want to experience that content, but I can't, you know? So... I mean, those are my thoughts. Do I, uh, in the end, do I think Destiny is better? Yes. Do I think it could get even better? Absolutely. I think there's a lot of room to grow, um, and I, I just think more things will come with time. Um, the game is getting better, and I think Bungie's doing a great job of listening to to their uh, to their players and things. Hey guys, thanks for watching, and if you like this video, remember to like, subscribe. And comment below, do you think Destiny has gotten any better in the last few months? Let us know.